Hello, we're here today with Mark Higgins from UMEDSAP and he's going to be talking about the weather in Europe for February. Um, hello and so welcome to the last month of winter, meteorological winter. So we use December, January, February for statistics and record keeping. So when we make statements like winter was, these are the months we're using. So in the beginning of the month, we're seeing quite a chaotic weather structure over Europe. You can see clouds and air flowing in from the north, and what will be happening there is the cold air will be picking up some moisture as it travels over the Atlantic. Central Europe is under the influence of a low-pressure system, a lot of snow over Switzerland, and you can see in Switzerland and Eastern Europe, underneath the clouds, those dark blue areas that show a lot of snow. Northern Spain starting to show a lot of snow in this particular period, and you can see there the clear skies, but uh, snow over the far eastern parts of Europe, so northern Turkey. And some interesting phenomena now, right at the beginning of the month, you'll start to see the moist, warmer air as it comes over the land rises very dramatically, and you get a combination of snow and thunder and lightning, so known as thunder snow in, in English. On the clearer days, you can see just how much snow is lying on the ground. So we're in the middle of the really cold, lying snow with that blue colour that doesn't move. So once the snow has cleared from Switzerland, they were enjoying some sunny days, but cold and a lot of snow. You can see the, that really bright blue in Norway reflecting the snow there. A lot of places reported a cold but dry-ish February compared to long-term averages. Nice, clear, clear skies. You can see all the snow in the far eastern uh, countries there. Lots of blue on the ground. So although we're coming to the end of meteorological winter, still a lot of snow lying on the ground. But at this time, there was a large storm which brought a lot of snow to the northeast of the US. That was known as Storm Nemo. The remnants of that storm then travelled over the Atlantic. And so when we get to about the 13th, we'll start to see that storm coming in and bringing more precipitation to UK, Netherlands, um, Norway, Sweden. So the system just in the Atlantic now is former Storm Nemo, bringing some of its precipitation across the UK and then coming into the Netherlands and Denmark. So that brought quite a lot of snow to, to the Danish areas. Now moving into a slightly different situation, high pressure system over Eastern Europe, you can see that low grey cloud, sometimes in English referred to as anticyclonic gloom, very grey skies, not much precipitation. And actually at these sorts of times, not much frost. So what can happen is it can be very cold, feel very cold, but the frosts aren't so deep, um, which of course matters to gardeners. So the cloud acts as a sort of blanket and there's a bit more mixing in the atmosphere, so it stops a layer of moist, cold air, then causing a nice deep frost at the surface overnight. Bit of sunshine starting to return, so you'll now see here in France, the UK, very, very clear skies, nice, cold, crisp winter days. In this point, that high pressure has now moved, so it's over UK, Western Europe, again, bringing these cloudy, grey days. So the Cloud Appreciation Society really struggling to find good clouds to look at. 
At this point in Scotland, uh, slightly higher temperatures were recorded. So we're seeing just below 14 degrees um, in the north of Scotland. Over the next couple of days, that'll actually change quite dramatically. And we'll see that coming down to a nighttime minimum of minus 10 by the time we get to the 22nd. So these high pressure systems, when they develop, they can take a long time to break down. In the summer, we look forward to them because they're quite often associated with quite good weather. But in the winter, they just can lead to days and days of very grey cloud cover. And so waiting for them to break down so that we can then get back to seeing the nice crisp winter blue skies um, is often something we look forward to. And you can see here as we get towards the end of the month on the 24th, so we've got a few areas with not much cloud, particularly in the east. A couple of things that might be interesting to look at, the northern Baltic Sea and the northern Caspian Sea, you see what looks like snow on the sea. And of course what that is is sea ice and snow resting on top of the sea ice. So just to spot the high pressure systems, the cloud will be rotating clockwise in those. And in the low pressure system, the clouds rotate anti-clockwise if you want to, to spot which is which. And it's the low pressure systems that tend to be the more dynamic ones, bringing snow, wind, rain, and those high pressure systems that bring the grayer skies, but much more stable weather. So the end of uh, meteorological winter, you're seeing this high pressure um, just breaking down over the Atlantic, the clouds starting to clear, some very light rain, but a lot of clear skies, colder than usual, but also drier than usual.